The ongoing modernization of military assets is essential in light of the changing global security landscape. For Eurofighter Typhoon operators, this means continuous upgrades to preserve operational efficiency and air superiority. These improvements are designed to counter emerging threats, including the growing sophistication of adversary aircraft and sophisticated enemy air defenses. Governments make sure their Eurofighters remain relevant amid the evolving landscape of aerial warfare by integrating state-of-the-art technologies such as electronic scanning array radars, advanced weapons integration, and enhanced electronic warfare capabilities. The Eurofighter Typhoon's upgrades are fundamentally different and vary significantly based on the specific needs and capabilities of the nations that operate them. The operational requirements of each country are unique and are influenced by factors such as strategic objectives, budget constraints, and threat perception. For example, Germany and Spain are currently concentrating on the integration of advanced systems such as the Captor E ASA radar and enhanced avionics through their own tranche upgrades. On the other hand, other nations might choose various capabilities based on their military doctrines. For instance, the Kuwait Air Force will be the first to operate the Captor E radar, which underscores a unique aspect of its procurement strategy. Furthermore, Certain nations have elected to implement exhaustive upgrade packages that include air-to-ground precision strike capabilities, while others have limited their improvements to air defense functions. The difference in upgrade paths not only shows the Eurofighter program's flexibility in meeting the operational requirements and technological developments of various air forces, but also reflects national priorities. The process of identifying the most technologically advanced Eurofighter enhancement program is complex. Electronic warfare systems, data fusion capabilities, weapons compatibility, for example, meteor missile integration, sensor integration, for example, captor E radar improvement, and data fusion capabilities all factor into the equation. The Eurofighter Typhoon upgrade priorities are considerably different among the nations that operate the aircraft as they are a reflection of their distinct strategic requirements, operational environments, and budgetary constraints. For example, Germany has prioritized the development of its self-protection systems to address modern threats, including long-range integrated air defense systems. Additionally, the country is looking at enhancements to its tornado fleet replacement. In contrast, Italy has placed a high priority on the integration of sophisticated avionics and weapon systems to improve the capabilities of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. In the interim, Kuwait is in the process of becoming the first operator of the new Captor E radar as part of its Eurofighter program, underscoring its requirement for state-of-the-art technology to enhance its defense posture. Spain's Halcon 2 program is designed to modernize its Air Force capabilities by replacing outdated F-18s with a fleet of Eurofighters that are equipped with advanced avionics and improved weapon systems. Furthermore, the United Kingdom has been enhancing mission systems and integrating new armaments as part of projects such as Project Centurion with the objective of preserving operational superiority. The distinct upgrade paths of these nations underscore the way in which each nation customizes its Eurofighter enhancements to address unique regional security challenges and achieve specific military objectives. The Qatari E-Typhoon program is likely to outpace other programs when contemplating technological advancement solely from an aircraft perspective. Qatar's E-Typhoon program necessitated substantial customization, surpassing the conventional Tranche 4 configuration. This is likely to involve the integration of electronic warfare systems, munitions, and sensors that are customized to meet the operational requirements of Qatar. The Qatari program prioritized sophisticated capabilities, which could potentially incorporate cutting-edge technologies that surpass the standard features of other Eurofighter programs. Nevertheless, it is crucial to acknowledge that the Qatari E-Typhoon program frequently limits the sharing of specific information. Additionally, the technological environment is in a state of continuous change. Other programs, including the German Quadriga and the ongoing Capability Enhancement Package enhancements, are also integrating advanced technologies and will continue to develop. Hence, the Qatari E-Typhoon program may currently be at the forefront of Eurofighter advanced technology, 
However, this is a constantly changing, ongoing process. Sensor integration, like advanced radars, ESM, IRST, weapons integration, for example, compatibility with the latest air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, including long-range and BVR weapons, electronic warfare systems, capabilities for detecting, jamming, and deceiving enemy radar and other electronic systems, and data fusion and networking, the capacity to effectively share information with other aircraft, ground stations, and command centers, are key factors in developments in technology in Eurofighter programs. Now, which Eurofighter is the most advanced in your opinion, and why? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.